next item, okay? And that is a windbender. <laughs> oh, that's a. all-purpose grease <laughs> uh, that one is uh, chick-fil-a sauce oh okay. well <laughs> um, so wait a minute i thought this was automotive fluid yeah well, tell I me mean, where that works mechanics eat chick -fil -A. hell yeah brother you're on the please be on youtube channel what's up freedom What's up guys, a quick interruption to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Omaze. Omaze is giving away a 2020 Torch Red Corvette C8 Z51. This is a fully loaded car, comes with the Z51 performance package, that means you get the performance exhaust, it also has the highest level interior package you can get. The car is tricked out, and in addition to that, it comes with $20,000 cash, and on top of all that, your taxes and the shipping is all included. All you gotta do to enter to win this C8 is go to omaze.com, Slash Cletus McFarland. If you donate 10 bucks, you're entered for a chance to win this car. But on top of that, your funds go directly to helping out the UCLA Ronald Reagan Medical Center, funding their ambulance program, as well as their mobile cardiac and respiratory life-saving services. You donate 10 bucks, you're entered to win a 2020 C8 Corvette with $20,000 cash. I think I'd use it to put some twin turbos on the back of a C8, add a little extra power, and you're helping out UCLA Ronald Reagan Medical Center. A big thank you to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. All you gotta do guys is hit omaze.com slash McFarland. The link is in the description below to check out and enter for a chance to win. But that's it, let's get back to the live action. All right guys, so to start off today's video, we are going to challenge the man James himself. Can he identify uh, automotive fluids with 100% accuracy? That's what we're gonna find out today. So we have this tray, we're gonna put a different type of fluid in each one. We're gonna let him touch it and smell it and you know feel the consistency and see if while blindfolded the man can uh, accurately identify. All right, contestant number one, come on down. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, so saying out this blanket we have nine different smells that are all car related and we want you to identify them. You're allowed to there's only one that I have to hold up and let you smell because it, you'll know what it is but the other eight you can put your finger in move it around and, and get a smell okay so I'll put this on all right so the first one I'm gonna hold up to you and you're gonna smell that one okay all right. it's it's tough so don't don't okay. shout the first thing out this isn't a race Is that a snap? <laughs> why is it fuzzy <laughs> 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 what <are you> thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Check on my nose. Here, you want to hold it? Yeah. You can only use two fingers. Two fingers. Uh, like, go like that. Like thumb and pointer. Okay. Be careful. Oh, oh. Okay, now it's oh, not. That's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is this fuzzy? I figured you'd get that smell right away. I had to borrow this from Skip. I'm going to dip you in the first thing here, okay? Alright, there you go. Oh, that's gear oil. Oh, there you go. One for one. Okay, get in there. All right. Give it. That's pump gas. A little 93. Ooh, it's the 85. I'll smell it. It's, it doesn't have any ethanol smell. I just it. smelled it. <laughs> smell it. I'm I telling you, that's pump gas. That's the 85. George, can we get a can we get a second opinion here? I don't know. Might be 93. It's more pump gas here than that. We'll give a mulligan on that. Might one. be a mix. It's it's a mix. 50 /50. It came out of the C7, so it is probably. So who knows what it is? Okay. Or right. anything. All right. So next one. Here we go. This is this one's a tough one. This is definitely one of the tougher ones. Not much of a smell to it. Is it power steering fluid? Close. Brake fluid. Yeah, it's brake fluid. <laughs> I can tell by the feel. <laughs> All right. That's some right. Really jelly. Ooh, that's uh, some good old Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> 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 that's a throw. That was your lunch. <laughs> this one should be a cakewalk. I like. I can just still smell the Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> so it's hard. You need to switch hands. Yeah. Let me... Okay. Yeah, this one just smells like gas. <laughs> you know, <a> pre-check. <laughs> yeah. 
transmission fluid. Yeah, it's transmission yeah. fluid. Okay. Say, okay. That one, that yeah, one you had to get. Chick-fil-A sauce is pretty potent. I think <laughs> it is. It on a finger. All right, here we go. Uh, is that like assembly lube or something? Mm, I mean, technically, I guess, sort of. That's what it smells like, is assembly lube. Keep going. One more attempt. Uh, I don't... Uh, it just smells too much it's, like the assembly it's lube. It's engine oil. Is it that breaking oil? It's breaking oil. Okay. That's, that's what the throw off was. Here's uh, You've got two more, pal. You're doing great. Okay? Ooh, which one should I do with the first two? Probably this one. Yeah, probably. This um, one. I don't want the other one to overpower him. What the hell is it? Slimy. Oh, some hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you'd get that All one. Alright, this is the last one. Alright, let me go pinky up on I this would, one. Yeah, really feel Maybe two this fingers. one. Yeah, you're going to want to feel that one out good. That's very slimy. Under your nail. Oh, that's uh, the ARP stuff. The it's anti-seize. Is it anti <laughs> yeah. Same, same stuff. Same, yeah, same well, thing. Not all of us. Yeah. We didn't have a single one that was like way out there. All yeah. right, James. Uh, thank you for coming on smell a vision and uh, we're looking forward to having you back next time. This next is up awesome. is Jeremy. Okay, this is the control smell. So smell this to make sure your senses are on point. <laughs> what is that? I, that's a tennis ball. Okay, his nose is working today, folks. All right, we're gonna do one Very at a time. Funny guy. We have, uh, we have eight items. Okay, I'm gonna dip your finger in it. Item, item number one. Here we go. Uh -huh. mm. You're gonna start with that. Yep. Oof. That's uh, that's diff. Gear oil. Yeah. Well done, sir. Yeah, it's Ready? Some fresh poo here. <laughs> oh. Hey, can you grab him a fresh yeah. towel, James? Mm. That's an E85 right there. Oh, he called it out. He said E85. Next item, okay? Then there is a windbender. <laughs> oh, that's a. Uh, is that like all-purpose grease? <laughs> Uh, that one is uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Might have to use a different finger yeah. after the... I love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Dang it. Um, this one is... All right. So, um, brick wood? Yes! <laughs> the same thing? No. It doesn't smell like coolant. Now you get another dip? Mmm. Gosh, it's uh it doesn't smell like tranny fluid though. So it's like a, I don't know. I, I would have guessed it's transmission it. fluid. Is it it doesn't yeah. smell like it at all. Well you might have a lot of stuff on your hand. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like tranny fluid at all. Because uh, it's fresh as not James got it. <laughs> Get very much on. <laughs> Oof. That, that smells like a, a burnt engine oil right there. Yes, sir. Well, it's it's breaking engine oil, so it's a little uh, off the normal taste, but yeah. it's engine oil. I get bonus for that. <laughs> sure. Mm. You can hardly have any on your hand. <laughs> I think we got some buffalo sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot sauce. Oh, it's definitely hot. Okay, yeah. wipe the fingers. Wipe the pinky. Oh. Yeah, a broken okay. pinky. I don't even. Hold on. Let me use another finger. It smells okay. coconutty, yeah. but. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Coconutty. Hold on. Okay. Oh, that's a. I got a feeling this one's the. What the hell is this? You might get some more that's on your other not. fingers. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rub it on like your arm and then smell your arm. So you got a completely fresh spot. Oh my gosh, I know what this is too. Like, uh, do you want a hint? Um, 
it's like Andy C's or something. Oh, really? what a guy! Yeah, really? dude. that's pretty good. I don't think he missed any, did he? Oh, no. transmission fluid. I mean, well, the the Chick Fil A sauce. sauce. <laughs> I can pull this. I can pull this off. Yeah, oh, you're yeah, good. You're good. Well done. Well that's done. Actually, uh, pretty surprising. Honestly. Yeah, yeah it's not easy. Good. good job. All right. Well, let's get to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, last night we ended off making 906, our first clean pull. After Jeremy had put the car on a, a tune that we did at the very beginning just to rule out the breaking up issue. Turns out we think the breaking up issue is the plug wire. So, could have been a plug and then followed up by a wire that we might not have put on. It's like, it's like yeah. a crazy chain of things. You know? But we know it made a clean pull, so let's see what it does. We need a clean pull right off the bat. So. It's hard for you guys to hear the breaking up, but watch the nose of the car. You'll see it buck around a little bit, and that's how you know it's not a smooth hit. Just kind of watch right over here. If you see the straps kind of bouncing while it's under power, that means the car is breaking up. at the top it laid down it held held its longest ever and then you see that red line just i pulled it at like 65 though i mean it felt strong but yeah it was ripping but i i mean i gotta think we're not gonna reach a big number though until we can really lay it down yeah it needs to be able to make it up top because again i mean 5,000 we're still 5,000 we're making the same boost as we're making at 6400 how much boost is that uh that is right at 14. all right guys so on this one we tightened up our blowout valve which is right over there even more over the last one so it actually picked up boost i think that might be part of our boost leak is that blowout valve just shedding air down there so, so we added some to the uh, little tensioner the little set screw for the spring in there and jeremy added a degree of timing so one and a half on top so. one and a half so it might have a decent pickup here might be finally on to some freaking power gains. Golly, this little pro charger's picked up though. I mean, it was making like 740 foot pounds of torque before, like barely in the 840s. Uh, yeah, dude, she's freaking ripping out 935 horse, 901 torque. It used to live such a simple life. It did, dude. <laughs> Five horsepower. Climbing and climbing. Yeah, yeah. But how much more? <laughs> Any boost pick up with the tightening of the blow off of valve? Well, let me check. I'm gonna probably attribute that to spark. Yeah. It looks about the same. We hit right about 210 kPa. Still dropping down to like two or three. Jeez. What in the world? So normally guys, a centrifugal supercharged car, the boost climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs the faster the centrifugal supercharger spins with RPM. We're having this problem where ours is climbing and then starting to kind of drop off. So it, it leads us to think that we have a boost leak. The blow off valve is not the issue anymore. The, we did a boost leak check on the intake manifold like from throttle body back and it, was, it seemed fine, but can't seem to figure out what we got going on. All right guys, so we have boost checked or boost leak check, everything that we could possibly boost leak check. 
yeah how much boost can a boost leak check if a boost leak could check boost we got a, we got a couple things we think we took the elbow off because we're thinking maybe there's just a restriction going in but the really one of the only other possibilities would be that the the intercooler is so small that it's restricting it because this is the og intercooler that was on the 600 horsepower i1 pro charger setup oh yeah when i you know first boosted this car so i didn't ever i mean i never thought about that but when you say it like that though it's like i know well essentially this this pro charger should be making we should be making a thousand right now right i mean theoretically with the engine size and all that and it's like it's like our boost isn't making it to the engine somehow we can't find any leaks we can't find any other restrictions besides maybe the intercooler so we just don't know so after realizing that our intercooler might be the issue i called pro charger Turns out the intercooler on the car is rated for about a thousand crank horsepower, which we're making 960 wheel horsepower. So at the crank, we're maybe making 11, 1150. We have blown past the rating for this intercooler and we're almost 90% positive at this point that the intercooler is the restriction. Good news is guys, I called Pro Charger. They do have an intercooler that's set up for 1500 horsepower and we will be slapping that on the car probably next week. All right, we're gonna make some power. Come on, you little freedom unit. issues on our end it looks like yeah but i mean like this is off to a great start 900 pound feet of torque is not a lose no at all that's pretty spicy yeah yeah even though it's not the power you want to see the torque is thick yeah i didn't i thought at like a thousand fifty it'd make that torque but it seems like it's just and it probably uh it, i don't know see how yeah i don't know if the torque will go that much higher but at 900 foot pounds torque is going to be uh, hard to control on this setup yeah Needs a bigger tire, I think. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely gonna need it. You're gonna need a level up on tire. There's no doubt about it. Well, is it good to drive? Can I take it home? Yeah, let me do a little clean it up real quick, and then you can rip it, man. Okay, dude. It's just yeah. spicy unit. Good work. At least, at least we have a good baseline, and uh, we'll figure out our issues with airflow. Why we're not getting the air to the engine? You and know what we should we'll come do. Back. What? We should put the filter back on and just check it one more time and see what we're losing. Okay. Because we, that's the way you're going to drive it, right? Yep. Okay, well, let's, let's do that, and then that'll line that off. Sounds good. So, guys, what we've done is this is the last poll of today, is we put this setup on, which is going to be how it's street-driven. We got a uh, turbo guard. We got the intake pipe to get it away from the radiator. And we're going to do a rip, see how much power we're leaving on the table. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness idle drift there. And I'm not surprised. This is what it's supposed to do. without the filter 940 with it and then uh 15 foot pounds of torque loss that's significant that's actually a lot better than i thought it would fare it's a turbo guard though it's not a filter <laughs> I don't oh know. okay i thought it was like the elbow with the filter it's the elbow with the turbo guard okay so not bad though no not at all all right guys well one issue after the next round here we, uh, we got the breakup issue solved. Now we're on to a boost drop issue. So it's not to say 960 horsepower, 905 foot pounds torque is a bad thing, but the car's gonna be making more than that very soon. We're gonna find out why it isn't right now. 
but uh, until the morning for us. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. I want to give one last shout out to our sponsor and that is Omaze. Don't forget to check out omaze.com slash Cleese McFarlane. Check out the chance to win a 2020 C8 Corvette, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.